everyone. This is Adrienne Everhart, and I'm so happy to have with me my good friend and co-coach. She is such an amazing, amazing soft feminine energy, Helena Hart. Helena, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Adrienne. This is so much fun. We always have such a blast talking about some of these really important concepts, so I'm very happy to be here. Yeah, so let's get started. Helena, what is your definition of feminine energy? Great question. This is something I still get asked about all the time, so that's a perfect place to start. Feminine energy is uh, something that we all have within us. Men and women both have masculine and feminine energy. And, you know, sometimes it's helpful to start with what is masculine energy because feminine energy is kind of the opposite of that. So masculine energy is the part of us that's about doing things and thinking and solving problems, making decisions. Anytime you need to figure something out or get something done, you're in your masculine energy. And that's a great thing when you're working or even with your family, raising kids. Anytime you need to get things done, check off your to-do list, you're in your masculine energy. And feminine energy is the opposite. That's the part of us that's about feeling, being in our emotions, experiencing the moment. Uh, expressing ourselves from that place of responding to a man, and very important, trusting and allowing are very feminine energy qualities. So when you're leaning back, receiving, experiencing what's going on around you and within you, you're in your feminine energy. So how can women tap into their feminine energy? If you've just stumbled upon this video, you do not understand what feminine energy is, what it has to do with your relationship, how it can help you with a man, where would you say is the first place a woman can start with tapping into their feminine energy? Such a great question. There's two sides to this. The first side would be to stop doing all of these things. If we're talking about relationships and the dynamics of attraction between a man and a woman, a lot of times it can be really easy to step into our masculine energy and want to do things to keep the relationship going or let a guy know how much we care or how interested we are by always being the one to initiate contact with him, uh, planning all the dates, driving to him, paying for things, basically anything that looks like making it really easy for him or moving the relationship along, usually coming from a fear that everything's going to fizzle if we don't do that, right? So once you stop doing all of those things, a lot of times what happens is feelings are going to start to come up in you. And your feelings are like your best friend. Those are, that's the key to tapping into this feminine energy. So it's about not doing things and instead going inward and focusing on yourself and what you're feeling, what's going on inside your body. Uh, it's basically getting out of your head and into your body, into the present moment. So what you're saying is when we stop doing and taking actions and making things happen, we have a little downtime, we have a little lapse in this energy, and we will suddenly begin to feel something that we aren't normally feeling. Yes, yes. I'm so glad you brought that up because a lot of times I've certainly found this to be true in my own life and with all of my clients, a lot of times we're over-functioning and leaning forward in relationships or with a man, especially if we're really into him, we're doing those things to cover up our deeper feelings. So when we stop doing all of those things that don't really work, feelings start to come up, all these things that we've been stuffing down, maybe a sense of anxiety or urgency, uh, could be a sense of sadness or grief or even something really positive like excitement or anticipation about something else in your life. So you want to really pay attention to that. I've also really found that body sensations are a really good gateway into our deeper feelings. A lot of times we don't know what we're feeling. We're cut off from that, right? I can certainly relate to that if we're really busy or stressed out, just kind of like going from one obligation to another. We can get cut off from these deeper parts of ourselves. So if you're having a hard time finding a feeling, see if there's some kind of tension in your body. Maybe your shoulders feel tense or tight or maybe there's a knot in your stomach and kind of place all of your attention there when you do that, it can kind of uh, 
get you into this place where feelings can start to emerge as well. So is this part of a feminine energy mindset? Is this one way that you in, embody that? Because I know that's what your program really talks about in the six modules, is that it's all about having this mindset where you can embody your feminine energy. Such a great question. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad you asked that. So, yeah, a lot of times what happens is something doesn't feel right, and this could be in any area of your life. Of course, I talked so much about dating and relationships and your love life, but this also works in terms of attracting money and success and the career of your dreams. It's all related. It's so interesting. So what happens a lot of times is something feels off, either with our man or with our our career or something, and what we want to do is we want to just jump into action, right? Something doesn't feel right. We want to jump into our masculine energy and try and fix it without tending to our own energy, our own misalignment first. Have you ever experienced that, Adrian? Well, yes. I'm, I'm thinking of things, you know, just last night, you know, at dinner, I had a moment where something had bugged me during the day, and it wasn't anything about my partner, but I wanted to share and then when I shared, he was just kind of like, eh, you know, and it kind of, I wanted more, you know, I wanted more. And then I was like, okay, I need more right now. What can I do to fulfill that need instead of going to the man and getting the man to do that for me? What can I do for myself? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, yeah. It's such a good example. And you know, Adrian and I are, are practiced at this. And it still comes up all the time, right? This is the thing that comes up all the time, just a normal part of life and relationships. So, so often something feels off. We just want to jump into action. And I know we've talked about this before, Adrian. I heard this great quote once. Um, Any action taken coming from a place of lack is always counterproductive and it always leads to more feelings of lack. I have certainly found that to be true. And, I mean, in relationships, it's just classic, right? We're feeling anxious. Something doesn't feel right. So we want to reach out and do something or make a man do something to try and solve those feelings for us. It never works out, right? Yes, that's so good. So is this just would, would this say this is the best way to embody that feminine energy mindset to really get going, to start noticing what's going on in your body? Is that is that what that big, bold step into feminine energy Absolutely. is about? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's tending to your own energy, your own, and there's so much that goes into this, your belief systems. Your belief systems are you're really creating your reality, not the other way around. So what is your philosophy on life. Everyone can really ask themselves this. That will give you a lot of information about what's been kind of running the show in your life in general and especially in relationships. Are you trusting that everything's always working out for you? That let's say if you're single, that the love that you might be seeking or that relationship and the man that you want is absolutely guaranteed to you. He's right around the corner on his way to you, and you can't miss this. Is, you know, that is a, a feminine energy, trusting and allowing mindset. Most women don't feel that way. At least most women that come to us and, and are having a hard time in their love life don't feel that way, right? They, they feel like I'm, they might miss the boat here. Yeah, I'm so glad you talked about that because when uh, you and I worked together, I mean, years ago, and I had actually come to you about this same problem and it was advice that you gave me, and I was like, oh, my goodness, I can't think of anything that I'm doing in my life other than this man. I mean, I had this and I had that, but my focus was always that guy. And when I – I remember the panic I felt of, like, I don't have anything else. I don't have anything in my life, but, boy, am I glad. <laughs> I eventually found out how to do this. Helena, thank you so much. This is such super great advice. I love it. I think it gives everybody a good stepping stone into discovering their feminine energy, embodying that mindset. And I want to tell everyone that Helena has an amazing program. It is six modules that actually take you through each module of feminine energy. It's called the Feminine Art of Attraction. Ladies, Really go check this out. I think it's an amazing program, and it is so thorough, and it just gives you all of this knowledge that you need because it really does take multiple sources 
to find like what Helena said, what's right for you, what fits into your life, and how you can make feminine energy really work for you. So thank you, Helena. Anything else you want to leave us with before we say goodbye? Yeah, two things if we have time. That's perfect. We'd love it. When you were talking, yeah, when you were talking um, about, and it's so we worked together so long ago, and it's just amazing to even think that you could ever, ha- you know, <laughs> not be embodying the mindset that you have now, having such, like, a happy marriage and amazing, successful career. And, and, by the way, the reason I know so much about this stuff is because I studied it myself, because this is something I had a really hard time with and can still get into, just like anybody. And um, one analogy I heard that was so amazing it's like uh, if you can just imagine walking outside in your backyard or something and, and looking at an apple on a tree that's not quite ripe yet, and you you might you don't feel a sense of urgency or anxiety about that apple ripening, right? Because you know there's a process, there's a process, there's an unfolding to this. You don't look look at that apple on a tree and feel anxious, like oh my god, if I don't take my uh, if I take my eyes off of this apple. It's going to ripen, maybe, and then the birds will come and eat it and steal it away. Or maybe it'll fall off the tree and I won't be able to eat it, right? When you were talking Mm -hmm. about that sense of urgency that you felt, I can totally feel that all the time. We all can. So what I Mm -hmm. want you to think about is just knowing for sure that that apple is going to ripen and you're going to be right there. And it's going to get ripe and you're going to be (laughs) right there waiting for it. You cannot miss this. That is this feminine energy mindset where you don't have to watch it so intensely and feel so urgent about it if you trust and know that the right man for you is absolutely going to show up in your life or your relationship is going to improve. And it's actually you that needs to get right. <laughs> You're the apple, right? You have to get yourself ready by tending to your beliefs, installing new beliefs. That's what I talk about in Module 2 of this program, installing new beliefs that are actually going to really serve you in all areas of your life. So just that little analogy is something I wanted to share. It, it sounds a little silly and ridiculous because we don't care about that apple like we care about our love life or our career or the money we have in the bank. <laughs> you know, These things feel more urgent. But if you can start to look at it like an apple on the tree or you know, a plant or something you planted in the ground, there's this process, there's this unfolding to it, that needs to take place, it can kind of help calm that sense of urgency and get you into this Mm -hmm. feminine energy mindset. Was that Mm -hmm. helpful at all? Yeah, I love it. I love it. I mean, this is really amazing stuff, and I'm so glad we did this audio because sometimes the camera is on us and we just, we get so kind of, you know, self-conscious. I appreciate this so much because so many women are listening to this right now and they are just in a panic about what to do about their relationship. And yes, how can start yes. using this. And and you can be in a panic to learn how to use your feminine energy. The best part is is that it's really a slow unfolding uh, energy. It, you move slower, you speak more slowly, and you just allow things. You're not going to miss out on that apple because let me tell you, at the grocery store, there are so many other apples. If you do, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh my gosh, but, I cannot agree with you more. <laughs> I love what you said. It's slow, purposeful energy, right? It's this trusting energy to where you can allow that man or the money, whatever you want, to just show right up in your life. And the second thing I wanted to mention, as you were talking, I realized I actually have a uh, a free gift that goes right along with this. It's on my website. It's a um, it's a tool from my Feminine Art of Attraction program called the Conscious Creation Tool. It's a it's a short PDF and a um, a little audio recording on how to actually tap into your feminine energy to create the outcome that you actually want in your life, in any area of your life. It's really powerful. You don't have to put in your email address or anything. You just click play and listen to it. Um, I can include that, too, for anyone who's interested in learning. Oh, that would be wonderful. We'll put it attraction. in the link for everybody. Oh, Helena, you're always so generous. Thank you so much. And Thank you for sharing uh, more about what feminine energy is to you and how women can begin to embody this, have that mindset, and start to make those powerful changes. Thank you so much, Helena. Thank you, Adrienne. This was so much fun. We should definitely do this again soon.